Okay, guys, let's um, <coughs> show you how to do these. They're they're quite quite simple. Just have it have it a little bit quiet, so it looks like. Like that, and log four. Anyway, log 75 divided by log 4 will give me my solution, and my solution is what that exponent would be, and it's going to be a decimal, so I'll have to do some rounding. And I get about 3.11, and I said to three significant figures. If you want to do decimal places, you can. No, you don't have to do three significant figures. You could do two or three decimal places, but as long as you state what you've rounded it to, that's what you have to do. Like the previous example, I'll take the log of both sides here, rewrite the equation. That's what the equation looks like when I rewrite it. Now put the exponent of the power here in front of the log to multiply it. So it looks like this. And now here, I can't get x by itself just yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm just going to get 2x by itself and not x. So in order to do that, remember, these are connected by multiplying, just like these were. So I'm going to divide this by just log 5, and I'll just get 2x, though. So my last step here will be to divide by 2. Okay, so this equation just has one more step in that I'll work this out. And then to solve for x, I'm going to divide by 2. Uh, let's just see what this is as a, as a decimal first. Okay, so when I do this log 752 divided by log 5, I'll leave that on the calculator. I mean, I'll, I'll rewrite it down here right now to get the understanding, but we don't want to round right here because we're not finished with the problem yet. And finally, to solve for x, I'm just going to divide that by, by 2. And that's, that's my final answer. And here, instead of doing three significant figures, I did three decimal places. As long as it's appropriate, and this problem has no context, so it's not going to matter too much. Okay, let's try one more with words. So let's look at this problem right here. 31000 for a new forklift. It depreciates 11% per year. Uh, using the formula that we're going to use right here, and I'll tell you what each value means. It, it's kind of self-explanatory, but we'll, we'll spell it out for you. Okay, so that's what each of those variable means. Uh, the initial cost in this problem is 31,000. Um, the depreciation rate is 11%, and the number of years will work out. <coughs> okay, in the first problem, I'm not using logs here, because I'm just going to find the value after three years. Find the value of the forklift after three years after it's depreciated 11% per year. So this is just a plug-and-chug type of problem where I'm just substituting these values in this part of the formula to, to find the new value. I don't need logs. I only need logs in this problem if I'm figuring out that exponent, which will be the number of years. So if the problem asks for the number of years, that's when we've got to um, resort to using, using logs. Okay? So let's throw it in the calculator and see what we get. That's what I get when I substitute the values in. Um, I'll simplify this part right here. Correction there, one more zero, 31,000. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm showing all the work just to make sure we get the understanding. And no, no logarithm is needed to get the new value. Now, since this is money, I'm going to leave it to two decimal places. That makes sense for money. So after three years, it's gone from 31,000 to... 
21,854. Okay, so now let's do one where we need logs and solving for the number of years. Okay, so suppose the forklift needs to be replaced um, when the value hits $5,000. It's done its deal. How long will that take? So anytime in these types of problems where it's asking the number of years, that's the exponent, uh, we're going to need logs. So we're going to substitute all the values into our equation, and everything's going to be blank except for the exponent. So here's my equation. 5,000 is my value after n years. I don't know what n is yet. 31,000 is the original cost. Uh, the depreciation of 11% is still 0 0.89, like it was in my previous problem, and I want to figure out n. Okay. And my first step is going to be to get this power bit by itself on the equal side. And in order to do that, I'm going to divide by 31,000 on the other side. So this doesn't change. And I'll get a value for this. Now, when I get a value for this, 5,000 divided by 31,000, I've got to be careful because I can either leave it as a fraction if you want to. I can use the decimal here, but be careful with rounding for the decimal to be exact. So I'll just, I'll just write it to about four decimal places or five decimal places just so I don't make any rounding errors. Now we take the log of both sides, and we should have our answer once I divide by log 0.89. The n goes in front of the log expression over here. And after all that working, now I get onto the calculator, just for this one step right there. Oh, I use the calculator here, too. But this whole step, I only use the calculator twice, right here, and then for simplifying the log expression at the end. So to put it back into context, you know, I get, I get 15.66 to two decimal places for my answer, but the original question asked, how long, how many years. So if you were to be stating this in context, it would be anywhere between 15 and 16 years. We could change this to months exactly, but it might not work out to be an exact year and month thing like that. Okay?